the other control is the logical access process is monitored, right? When you go into your company and before you go in, you have to badge in, right? If you go to a floor, you know, for me, when I used to work in an environment where we had multiple floors, there were some floors where we couldn't go to as auditors, right? So when we use the badge, the door doesn't open. Well, that means that the logical access is monitored, right? So that is the restriction that we get. Even though everyone has the same badge, right? But the access that your badge gives you will be different from the other. Um, what is, and the other one is general system, general system security are appropriate. Um, like this is a IT infrastructure controls are present. <clears throat> so to ensure that the IT infrastructure controls are present, we need the appropriate access for that, right? To make sure that the individuals who are having accesses to anything security in general are limited. So the key thing, the key focus here is to always ensure that when you're testing for access control, you're ensuring that the access that is being permitted is limited and is focused only on the appropriateness of that individual and their job function, all right? And finally, segregation of incompatible duties. Remember, this is a control on its own. SOD is a control on its own. It ensures that the environment that we are testing, that we're in, that we're trying to find the risk level has some bit of of, uh, of restriction to it, right? Because that is what SOD does, right? SOD makes sure that, you know, not one individual is doing multiple things that is going to be toxic in that environment, all right?